good evening students welcome to durga soft online training and welcome to data structures and algorithms with java okay this is nothing but uh, sir batch 1 batch 1 this is the first batch and first time i am handling this subject in durga soft already i handled data structures but with java and with new concepts i came with this particular course okay and myself k prakash babu having 16 years of experience as technical trainer so here data structures we are going to cover and some basics of algorithms also we are going to see and the implementation of these things will be in java that's why i request everyone those who are having the minimum knowledge in java okay like hoops concepts my multi threading all these things uh, are not required exception handling multi threading those things are not required but anyway whenever it requires i will give one or two points related to that but make sure you have to get full fledged idea on this java sir especially hoops concepts i request everyone to please don't post any questions while lecture is going on okay yeah so next um, the tentative syllabus of course already there in our website you can cross check durgasoft.com there you can able to see and the tentative syllabus we are going to talk about introduction to dsa and then how you can able to solve the problem how you are going to analyze the problem what steps you are going to take for preparing the algorithm all these things and the time and the space complexities how you can able to calculate theoretically okay sir what are the notations used to represent time and space complexities what are the different aspects of algorithms are available and we will see mathematical algorithms then bitwise operations on this uh, numbers how recursion is going to work maximum programs we are going to cover on recursion so arrays strings matrices searching and sorting techniques we have 15 sorting techniques are there in my hand every sorting technique with the program with the live examples by analyzing that algorithms we will explain and a linked list so we know single double circular all the types of linked list so already we have predefined data structures are there in java we will use those predefined also at the same time how to create user defined also we are going to see in this next and after that stack how to implement a stack by using java what the principal stack is going to follow so what is mean by queue what are the diff different types of divisions are there in the queue so what is mean by binary tree what are the different trees are existed like uh, so red black trees okay avl trees so height balance trees b trees b plus trees so binary search trees how to implement all those things so hash tables hashing technique okay collisions how you can able to resolve the collisions linear probing quadratic probing all these things so abl trees dictionaries and maps also we are going to cover graph theory so some algorithms like a greedy algorithm back tracking algorithm dynamic programming these things we are going to cover and the duration of this course is 2 to 3 months okay but as of now 2 months is the target but this is the first time right sometimes i may take some less sessions sometimes uh, sir explanation will become more complex like i need to take multiple uh, examples for you to understand so first time it take some time sir that's why 2 to 3 months duration minimum 3 months it will be wind up okay sir the timings of this class is from 7 pm to 8 pm only on weekdays that is monday to friday we have these classes saturday and sunday we don't have any class but if any time demands we will give saturday and sunday also maybe one hour or two hours like that rarely i will take sir and first time we are launching this uh, course right that's why the fees for this batch is rupees 1000 that is 399 okay those who are having interest to continue this batch you can make the payment immediately and get registered for this course and if you want to if you want to continue this batch so i am going to share the numbers on chat window so try to 
try to make a call to these numbers and make your admission confirm okay then so next term sir core java uh, very very important majority of the students having doubt sir what is the prerequisite for this sir nothing is required but since we are providing implementation in java compulsory you should have core java knowledge sir i don't know anything about core java no it is not possible okay it is not possible so if you want to attend parallelly my java batches are also available so core java batch is running at morning 7 o'clock only six classes completed okay if you want you can contact to this same number and you can get registered for this fees is 5000 and sir i am interested in programming i want to learn the program sir we have some program is there like logic based programming okay just now we have started this batch so every program sir have a look once so every program implementation will be there in all three languages like we have the programs from basic to advanced level almost uh, sir 300 300 plus programs we are going to cover okay if you are willing for that you can continue that course also that batch is from 8 pm to 9 pm okay almost we are going to cover 350 programs and every program explanation will be there in c java and python for this fees is 2000 so this is optional for you sir it is not recommended but the person who are very interested to continue in data structures in learning data structures but i don't know anything about java better to complete java and then get back this or parallelly if you want this is the option what we have okay right sir this is our previous class demo whatever i have discussed in last last class the duration of the logic based programming is 2 uh, months the core java duration is also 2 months so this is nothing but whatever things we covered in the last videos okay sir that's all this is the demo what we have taken in the last class okay sir please confirm if you are having any queries up to this if you confirm then i will go with uh, our first class any doubts up to this right sir logic based programming java programming if you want to communicate just contact to the tat team they will provide the access now current live batch is going on so you can you can go through that live batch is going on at 8 o'clock okay logic based programming yes that's what i am talking payment link you can contact admin yes graphs in depth also we are going to cover in the graph theory so graph coloring everything we are going to teach yeah the basics of dsa here we are going to cover with the help of that you have to put your effort also sir directly the questions or the concepts what i am explaining so will not be sufficient in addition to that your practice also required because the company top mnc companies will put a questions on ds only right if they are asking how you can delete a node from a single linked list you should be in a position to respond apart from that they won't ask any questions so you have to write the code for that at least you have to explain through the diagram okay directly after attending this course you, you won't get job sir so compulsory your effort is also very very important okay yeah basics to maximum advanced level 70% we are going to cover yeah videos will be given for you 7 months access again i am repeating the videos will be given for you 7 months access running notes lifetime validity i will provide okay pravin it is a java program so that's why we can use any ide like eclipse or netbeans or intellij or uh, uh, vs code anything you can use but as of now i am simply using uh, this edit plus okay because it is very easy in learning stage right that's why yeah dynamic programming also we are going to cover yeah today lbp batch is not there no 
so because at very first time we are launching the course right that's why we have given with uh, less price next time you can't able to imagine the fees of this batch lead code all these things are related to the problem solving here we are concentrating on implementing the data structures both are different context prajwal java is a programming language <laughs> okay so even for this you can't expect the fees at very first time that's why we have kept this okay java is a complete theory concept man n number of things will be there on that they will say directly you can make a payment okay our admin people will share the details please wait so then you can take a screenshot of that payment details you can make a payment send a screenshot to durga soft online training at gmail.com okay yeah definitely subrat definitely it will be helpful yes yes nine months access yes yes logic based programming i am telling yeah parallelly you can join both no problem sir you can ask the doubts by unmuting yourself but today because of this uh, huge crowd i am not giving any permission for you okay so once if uh, our regular class is started so almost the number of students are going to be reduced right after payment then i will provide you the access if the question is very serious logical programming batch duration 2 months sir please don't ask repeated doubts yeah a logic based programming no prerequisite is required directly you can join okay please contact to that numbers whatever i have shared sir you can please share the uh, you can please take a screenshot of these two numbers you can contact to this numbers at your free time now admins will be busy so please contact them okay they will provide you the access okay so if you want to just i am dropping one mail id first contact admin okay so then you can drop a mail to this uh, mail id so i will make admin to call you okay yeah right yes space complexity algorithms will be started from scratch sunny yeah sir please put your doubts ahead just i am going to start the class right yeah fine sir first of all sir i will my my style of teaching okay sir please code chef all these things are not covered in this narasimha prasad lead code code chef hacker rank those are called as problem solving approaches okay problem solving approaches better you can refer my logic based videos which was there in youtube you can refer that don't talk about lead code or code chef or hacker rank here because this is the data structure theory part how we are going to provide implementation for these data structures we are covering not solving the problems okay problem solving means what taking two numbers performing addition operation returning the result this is problem solving okay now sir if n number of students are coming in what order i am taking the input how i am managing that uh, data and how i am going to give the best way of uh, service so for that what data structures we have to implement that part i am talking here okay yeah this is a theory and a practical both will be there theory will be there at the same time practical implementation will be there in java yes yes i am going to give all the things avinash please wait yeah sir please don't ask any doubts as of now i will give time please stop putting the messages in chat window please sir right sir now um sir n number of real time applications are there for data structures 
but of course i can't take that real time examples directly i can't go for implementation but definitely we can take a snapshot of that and you can able to work on that algorithm okay slowly how it is going to work piece by piece i will explain the course later we will combine all these uh, small small modules into a big program to solve the problem okay sir first first before going to the data structures before moving to the data structures sir i want to you an example first i want to provide one example for you then i will go with the uh, definition of data structure what is the classification of data structures and a few more real time examples i will take okay few more real time examples i will take then i will go with uh, what are the characteristics of algorithms and we will prepare we will pick up some 10 algorithms we will write algorithms for those problem statements and we will prepare a java implementation also for that don't worry so it takes minimum 2 days or 3 days time slowly to addict my to addict into my class okay sir first 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 so i am going to take one small heading here i think uh, you can able to see these kind of things even in your mobiles sir not only mobiles even in everywhere i think you have seen these kind of things sir have you have you seen any bear a music player a music player music player sir n number of music uh, players are there in the market for example for example sir jio saavn okay jio saavn he is one of the music player sir next and after that sir uh, have you have you seen spotify spotify internally the code in that spotify is almost implemented by using python sir sir next and after that sir uh, this uh, prime music prime music is also available okay sir um, yeah maybe that's all right yes okay etc i can use the word called etc sir to implement these music players internally data structures concept is used to implement music player application to implement music player application sir internally internally so they are using data structures sir here the data the data is nothing but maybe i can say mp3 songs right mp3 songs will become input for the data but how they are organizing sir they are going to involve with uh, various uh, searching various uh, searching and various uh, sorting techniques will be there okay various queues will be there have you remembered if you want to if you want to uh, uh, walk around your park okay i want to go uh, to morning walk around 5 to 6 pm then sir i can create one separate queue in that queue i can place all the uh, inspirational songs there okay or devotional songs there so whenever i am going for walking i will start playing that queue sir the queue is going to be completed okay sir that kind of data structure internally we are using sorting suppose if you take uh, uh, any album okay if you take any uh, singers for example if you select any singer like popular telugu or tamil or hindi or english singer if you select maybe consider that a singer is having 200 to 300 songs so according to release date you can able to sort right okay according to release of year you can sort right in ascending or descending both yes you can do that sometimes in the top you can able to see search bars sir there also we are going to type uh, some album name or artist name or uh, singer name immediately that lyrical one or two words immediately that searching searching is going to be happen okay very very importantly sir we are going to use linked list also that is a main important aspect today i am going to cover okay sir linked list is the best application which are used in music players music players sir if you see in the music player there are three kind of scenarios are there okay there are three to four kind of scenarios are there sir scenario number 1 what is the first scenario is sir you can able to see when a song is playing when a song is playing sir next song you can select or not yes after completion of this song next song after completion of this song next song 
sir after completion of this song next song all these songs will be there in queue sir this style is called as linked list remember carefully so we will create a program how to maintain these links all these things i will explain with the help of java programming sir what is the second scenario are sir so here we have one song is there can i take next next song yes happily you can go sir can i take next song happily you can able to do sir can i select previous song also yes happily we can go for that can i select previous song also yes happily you can go for that from here next song is possible from here next song is possible from here previous song is possible like this sir have you observed sir you can traverse in both directions from left to right that means uh, forward direction at the same time reverse direction in both directions you can able to move that this one is called as double linked list then sir i have played this song i have played this song one song is there okay i don't have any previous button but i have next button is there so second song is also completed third song is also completed fourth song completed that's all in my queue i have only four songs sir after completion of these four songs the player is going to stop playing the songs but sir my requirement is can you please repeat from beginning can you please repeat from beginning yes it is possible this is called as circular single linked list instead of linked list i will use yes yes means single linked list a single link will be there from one node to another node node in the sense here song one song to another song double linked list means what two links will be there one is to move to the forward second one is to move to the backward okay sir in circular single link list after completion of last song you can able to come back to the first song that means what links are there in forward direction only but after playing the last song it is connected to the first song via link sir what about last one i think you can able to guess which is nothing but a double linked list so this will become next song this will become next song so this will become next song but previous to this this one previous to this this one sir previous to this this one sir previous to this this one next to this this one like a, sir this is called as circular double linked list just for your understanding purpose i have taken one real time example and i have explained with the help of a small diagram okay in this small music player how many data structures we are using how many operations we are performing you can imagine so that is the present trending sir so apart from your logical thinking apart from your programming knowledge apart from this sir you must have a knowledge to implement the data structures okay this is very very important so by ready made we have 10 to 15 data structures are there if you are very good at all these data structures but the task of these data structures is same so to store the data but in what order you are going to process that is the very very important okay so compulsory you must have an idea about all these data structures okay this is nothing but the concept of just the first example music players sir how the music player is going to work internally what kind of data structures we are using i think i explained very clearly for you people sir please confirm do you have any doubts on this first application please confirm is it clear yes so next one can we repeat uh, one song again and again yes that is also called as looping right looping we can do that we can do that uh, sir where is the manage at this user end or database see database we are not going to touch. database concept is used to store only data 
there you should not write any code the code should be there in the application okay so if if you are preparing application for selecting the song that song will be come from the database next song will come from the database so it is going to fetch the songs and it will be stored internally that logic building we have to do in the application okay yes kartika please uh, uh, just imagine that's all i am not going in detail so once if you go to in detail there with the help of beautiful diagram we will see just try to observe outline circular double linked list means last node can be pointed to the previous first node first node link will be there for the last node that's all yes play list play next play previous that options only i explained someone is asking sir how you can able to shuffle data yes we can do that for shuffling which algorithm we are going to use randomized algorithm are you going to decide which al which song is going to be played next once if shuffle is on we don't know even the person who developed that player don't know because it will generate a random number suppose if your queue is having 100 songs it will generate a random number from 1 to 100 that song will be played that's all yeah that's what i am explaining uh, robotion yeah we can do that internally uh, if you want to play the current song repeatedly sir please have a look once sir i want to play this song repeatedly then this link will be deleted this link will be deleted so here they are going to maintain one queue in that queue this song sir next song is this one only self to self pointing okay this node is keep on repeating that's all this is called as repetition once if you stop this repetition then this link will be established clear yeah youtube videos everywhere players will follow this kind of concepts only sir don't go beyond that just try to imagine that's all i am not explaining the implementation of these things okay don't worry shall we go for next example right sir i think uh, the example which i am going to explain now you have faced these kind of things sir even i have faced these kind of things that's why wantedly i created this as a second example for us sir something like uh, spam emails spam email detection detection spam email detection sir do you know sir i have only one mail id is there sir something like it will start with r and then some email id at the rate gmail.com this is my mail id sir every day every day minimum from sir 10 unknown persons from 10 unknown companies okay i am getting the mails minimum 10 per day per day sir 10 mails i am getting 10 mails 10 email spam mails per day sir it is very difficult for me to read all those mails right because uh, sir i need to check for the important mails suppose if i have only 5 minutes time in the morning if i open first mail if it is a spam i will open second mail if it is a spam next time onwards i won't check any mail right this kind of a situation you have faced every time sir what do we have to do here sir once uh, if you throw if you throw these uh, these emails okay from consider i got a mail from xyz company i throw this xyz company mail to some spam then what will happen then what will happen sir maybe one day i throw second time also i throw third time also I throw. that fourth time onwards the mail which is coming from this xyz company won't be there in your inbox it will be there in spam sir okay sir are you facing these type of situations in your real time please confirm have you faced these kind of situations in real time some students are asking innocently this doubt will you just explain the data structure or will you do the coding also yes our main our main target is theory plus coding theory plus coding okay definitely we will concentrate on coding with uh, which language java because this is the 
demo session right that's why just i am trying to explore everything slowly step by step we will do all the activities okay right sir this is spam email detection algorithm will be implemented here which data structure we are going to implement means uh, remember sir string data structure okay here we are going to use a string data structure to detect uh, sir spam emails if i want to detect spam emails they are going to use string data structure for example you can receive any email from at the rate xyz.com means uh, sir that means xyz.com is a target string in your mail sender's email id if you find this mail can you please take that mail and push it into either trash or spam like this internally google developed algorithm that will be there in the spam okay now what happens whenever you are receiving the mail automatically it will detect such a type of things and it will send to the respective positions in this we are using string data structure or not yes definitely searching algorithm right which is going to work very efficiently so in this spam email id detections we are going to use a data structure which is nothing but string data structure sir this second application clear for you people friends please confirm clear for you people the duration of this course is 3 months i told already again and again silly questions you people are asking <laughs> okay no problem maybe you have joined very lately no issues yes sir what is mean by string group of characters group of characters okay so just we are going to search for this you can receive email from anything so if the company is xyz definitely you will receive the mail at the rate xyz.com right this xyz.com is our main target this is nothing but a string group of characters so in your sender's mail id okay if anywhere this word is there can you put that mail in spam folder like that they have prepared the algorithm so how that algorithm is going to search it will check each and every mail once if you received the mail it will check uh, in the sender's mail id if anywhere xyz is there definitely it will be put into the spam spam okay mm something like a string you have seen already in your programming right collection of characters but a string internally is a data structure without a string nothing is possible if you take any application sir majority 90% of the data will be there only with the help of string sir like in our earth maximum maximum data is filled with water right so 60% of the earth is occupied by water in the same way in every programming language 70% of the data is occupied with string only without string you can't able to do any task without water you can't sustain at least 4 hours or 5 hours also in the same way that much important string concept is clear um sir please 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 wait in java there are already list in other things are available i think whenever we need these things so just we are import and then yes yes of course we have already inbuilt support is there okay but how those things are implemented we are going to do now so some things if you want new we can we can do that yes string algorithms also will be covered everything will be there here right sir next third example third example so this is the last example sir in my hand around 20 examples are there every day in the demo sessions i will take one or two algorithms and i will try to explain what is the next algorithm that we have here is sir any one have you seen book my show application any one book my show application have you seen this 
yes please confirm what is the purpose of this one it is nothing but sir movie ticket application right movie ticket application sir internally it uses n number of algorithms data structures but in that one of the application is nothing but i can say array data structure they are going to use array data structure mainly sir two dimensional arrays they are going to use for reservation reservation of seats sir i will explain with the help of diagram so that you can get very clarity okay please wait sir just to have a look once suppose consider uh, this is nothing but a screen okay this is nothing but a screen what i have and this one is nothing but uh, sir uh, seats first row and this one is nothing but maybe consider second row sir this one is consider some third row and this one is nothing but fourth some row or column something like this we have sir in this consider sir we have some uh, two or three seats are there here just for example purpose i am telling sir so don't take this one as a serious okay because like this you want to be have right yeah so same thing yeah just for example sake i am taking only first column sir your seats will be allocated like this and if you if you observe every seat is labeled with some number starting from here so maybe uh, in my state sir they are going to labeled with a b c d okay so e f something like this sir these are numbers from 1 2 3 okay so 4 5 6 so 7 8 9 okay so 10 11 12 and so on sir i want to reserve this ticket i want to reserve this particular this particular seat i want to reserve for myself sir how it is going to be reserved how it is going to be reserved sir this one is going to be reserved with uh, one special name sir seat of seat of which row sir b row sir which column sir it is going to take second column indirectly it is nothing but second row second column like this the seat will be reserved sir this status is already zero now it is updated to one one means what that immediately that color is going to be changed if you observe that the colors are going to be changed right yes immediately once if you reserve it will be filled with some other color that means what this seat is already reserved once if you make the payment you can able to do that sir if anywhere while doing the payment if something is wrong then you can able to disable a of 2 to is equal to 0 then immediately that seat is vacant it will be displayed in white color sir internally which data structure we are using for selecting the seats we are using the concept of arrays it is an array okay where two how many rows will be there sir 2 by 2 matrix it is okay in that 2 by 2 Uh, not two by two, sir. Here, uh, yes, two by two only. But how many rows will be there? How many columns will be there? That will be depends on that will be depends on that particular seat capacity in the theater. So based on this, an array will be created, and we are going to implement like this, sir. Here, the number B is there, sir. The number B is there. This one easily I can know because it is a number. But this one is B. It is a seat row, right? How you converted into two? very simple the people who are coming from my logic based programming i think uh, we have one concept is there on this we prepared almost 10 programs on that what is that you have to take ascii value of a which is nothing but uh, 65 what is ascii value of b sir it is nothing but 66 okay sir i will take ascii value of this which is nothing but 66 if you want to get a 2 which one we have to subtract minus can i subtract 64 yes sir if you subtract 64 you are going to get yes of sir this 64 is common if you subtract 64 minus a then you are going to get first row correct or wrong so if you if you want to select c what is ascii value of 6 sorry c it is nothing but 67 67 minus 64 will become 3 
character like that it is going to be represented internally while while coding so because some people may have a doubt sir this one is alphabet this one is number how you can able to recognize it this is the thought you have to catch so then automatically implementation will become very easy for you people okay i think uh, sir in this movie ticket reservation system in the book my application show how these arrays are used to reserve the tickets i think it is very clear for you people please confirm do you have any doubts up to this in core java what topics we need to focus more so as of now we you have to focus on collections and object oriented principles uh someone is asking sir in that uh, ticket reservation system they are taking queue yes queue is also there see the person who who are getting into that application first you have to provide high priority but in that i am taking a small module like selecting that particular seat in that which data structure you are using that part i am explaining you can able to imagine now you got two algorithms two data structures are working on that uh, application Sachin, don't worry. You will get it soon. Okay. <clears throat> yes, Poonam. Don't worry. Sixty-four is nothing but just I have given a number. So how you can able to get that uh, numbers? For that, if you subtract with the sixty-four, you will get it. That not only sixty-four depends on application. You have to change. Don't worry. In further applications, I will explain everything. yeah my logic based programming batch already started so i told already please contact to this number they will guide you they will guide you already started they will share the better i will do one thing the students who have registered for this course you have given the mail ids right so through that mail we will send all the information syllabus everything so uh, by today night you will receive the email which includes core java playlist and a logic based programming demo playlist okay so if you are interested you can continue yeah right so these are the small three applications that i explained just to enter into these data structures sir okay what about our regular class okay applications okay in what point of view we are going to use these data structures i understood but uh, sir i want to implement the algorithm means sir how you can able to do that here there are two parts are there one is nothing but algorithms and the second one is nothing but data structures okay one is nothing but algorithms second one is nothing but data structures so first i am going to talk about okay so i told already swapnil don't talk about lead code or any other things because this is the data structure course i am not going to solve any problems here okay it is not problematic uh, sessions these are theory part but how to implement that problems we are going to discuss okay lead code all these things they will give a problem statement they ask us to develop the code so for that logical thinking must be required so here how the data structures we are going to use that part i am covering okay uh after completion of this can i able to crack the interviews means yes product based companies top mnc companies are going to ask the questions on data structures at the same time you should be able to solve uh, programs also for that problem solving i already told right logic based programming try to register for that there you can able to learn coding also yeah what is the difference between algorithm and ts both are same <laughs> data structures are the uh, concept sir data structures are the concept so steps to implement that concept is nothing but algorithm okay so if you want to understand my terminology sir assume i have five chocolates are there five chocolates are there in my hand i want to divide i want to give these five chocolates to sir my 110 students so in my mind immediately i am going to get one thought so let us conduct 
a small 10 questions quiz for my students. Okay. In that, select top 5. So, for them, I will issue these 5 chocolates. This is my target. So, the method, whatever I got, whatever concept I got, is the data structure. So, 10 students attended the exam. We filtered 10 members from that, those who secured the top marks. In that top 5 students I selected, I am going to apply one mechanism for that. This is called as data structure. And uh, I want to do this automatic, automation. Okay. I don't want to calculate, uh, I don't want to uh, take a paper and a pen and I don't want to correct the papers. Okay. So, I don't want to sort out manually. It will take long time, right? So, I want to make all this process as automatic. Like, I will give student ID, student name, student email ID. Once if they enter into the examination, so a web portal will be displayed. There you have to answer all the questions. Automatically, I in the back end, I have given options for them. So, if anyone is uh, secured pass marks, so I will sort the data according to the descending order of your marks. Where first five records I will select and I am going to give the, uh, what you can call that announcement. So, that process for that implementation, what process we are going to do in that step by step, we are going to follow algorithms. I think your doubt got clarified. Yeah, you can able to put in your resume. So, I know data structures and algorithms, definitely. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sir, let us go with uh, the first one. I want to divide the classification of data structures first. Then I will go to um, this uh, algorithm. So, what is mean by data structure? What is mean by data structure? In a simple word, if I want to explain, sir, structure making your data in a proper structure is called as data structure. Sir, arranging, arranging data in a proper structure, in a proper structure is called as data structures. Okay. Or I can say, Sir Nagarjuna, please switch off your video mode. No. Okay. Or, Sir, organizing. Okay. Organizing data is called as data structure. Organizing means what? Once if you got the data, you have to process that data, right? Sir, I want to collect uh, in my area, I want to make a survey. I want to know how many graduate students are there, how many postgraduate students are there. I want to give a report to the government. So, what I have done, I prepared a one small application and I sent that application in our area group. That application, that, that link will be shared with all the students and they are going to submit the data. So, finally, if my count is reached, Okay, then I am going to segregate the data, right? This entire process, we have to apply some algorithm. We have to apply some data structure. So, to organize this data, this concept is called as data structure. I may use arrays concept or I may use linked list concept. See, if you store the data in variables, you can't sort the data, right? That's why if you depend on data structure, n number of applications we can able to get, right? Sir, what advantage we... <coughs> Some students are asking questions. Sir, actually, we don't use the logic behind this DSA. We simply import. We simply import. Then, why we have to learn? Sir, please don't mind. Hope this is a good question. Yes, of course, it is the good question. So, majority of people uh, may know about Java. In Java, already linked list concept is there. Simply, you can able to create a linked list like this. Okay. And uh, they can able to add the elements because uh, someone already created linked list. Sir, I will explain how to create your own linked list with your style. Okay. I will, I will explain how to create your own linked list with your style then what will happen 
the logic behind this how they implemented you will get it right so that that makes you very uh, efficient in the data structure so java people are making you very lazy by providing this predefined support simply you are enjoying that feature but how it is internally working that is a very very important question see there are different kinds of interview questions will be there so for the freshers if you take a uh, sir less number of data structure questions they are going to ask but if you are an experienced person or in the middle category if you if you are there then definitely you must have according to java whatever you are doing is okay but apart from that how your brain is going to think so how you can able to uh, uh, work with these uh, uh, not defined methods how you can able to go with your own implementation that part we are going to learn here clear for all the things we don't have solutions right i hope you got uh, the answer right that depends on company saurav that depends on company yeah please let me give some time sir i will i will talk about this okay so arranging the data in a proper manner is called as data structure sir arranging the data in a proper manner is called as a data structure sir already we have some data structures okay then uh, how you can able to do these activities sir already we have some data structures and if you want you can able to implement by your own also sir then how you can able to classify and uh, what kind of operations we can able to perform on data structures sir various operations we can perform the following the following are the various operations sir that we can able to perform that we can able to perform on data structures like any data structure sir first operation inserting new data inserting new data sir i got data i want to insert into my database so what technique you are going to perform see insertion don't think that insertion means taking the data putting into the database so there compulsory you have to follow certain rules see if i have 10 applications simply i will take the 10 applications and i will keep it in my table okay but if you go to government office every day sir they are going to get some applications how they are going to keep the applications have you seen so once if 10 applications already there on the table your 11th application will be inserted at the end not at top okay not at the top suppose 12th application is coming uh, come with uh, uh, some mp or ml recommendation means that application will come at first so there we are using queue at the same time priority queue also we are using that means the application which came at highest priority will be processed first by the government official so inserting the new data is not a easy task we have to perform some kind of operations based on that we have to insert the data okay next after that sir uh, removal okay removal of uh, existing data sir i want to remove the existing data yes we can able to do sir updating updating or i can say replacement replacement of data sir so i i have so i have given my mobile number and uh, email id so to one of my course java course sir later that student came up with uh, sir my google drive has been filled i i want to change that email id then what will what will i will do i will give a small application can you please write your email id and uh, your mobile registered mobile number and put your signature if your mobile number corresponding email id and corresponding signatures are matched i will replace that old email id with your new email id but for that whatever mobile number you have given i will send a otp can you please resend that otp or tell me that otp number if it is validated i will update right these kind of things also we have seen several times next so insertion deletion updation then very very important searching searching sir we have two types of searching are there you know very well linear and binary which is efficient binary search then if you want to sort the data we have almost 15 plus sorting techniques are there anything you can use sir etc if you want to perform these kind of operations so, sorry these kind of operations we can able to do on data structures 
okay yeah deleting i forgot sorry yes deleting so deleting that is removal right already covered removal okay yes hash table is also best searching yes merging everything will come into the picture that's why i use it etc okay sir uh, here if we if we perform okay so if we if we use if we use above algorithms above algorithms very effectively on data structures then then so complexities are uh, sir so many factors so many factors will be improved i can't say any one factor so if you implement these programs very clearly n number of advantages you are going to get very simple i have a student database is there student data is there if i want to read the data better to use array list concept sir i have student data is there i want to insert some data better to go for linked list concept okay here array list or i can say array so like this based on the concept we have to go for appropriate this will be decided by space and time complexities other than that nothing okay so clear about this data structures so that the top level what we have Yes, yeah, swapping everything will come into the picture. Sir, clear up to this? Yeah, internal how it is going to work in hashing we will discuss. Sir, clear up to this? Please confirm. Yeah. So classification of data structures is also there that we will discuss later. Okay, but let me give the definition for algorithm. I think everyone know what is the definition of algorithm, right? So definition of algorithm, everyone knows. Okay, what is the definition? Sir, step by step. Okay, step by step process to solve a problem. To solve a problem is called as an algorithm. okay step by step process what we are going to implement to solve a particular problem is called as algorithm and in this algorithm we will concentrate mainly on design part so here we will concentrate here we will concentrate okay on design part design part but not on implementation but not on implementation that's why sir this implementation we are going to use java so that's what i told data structures with java means what i will take the theory class what concepts we are going to use what is the algorithm to be followed same thing sir in python also we are going to discuss the same sir data structures with python is very easy for me because the concept whatever i am delivering in my java dsa python dsa will become same the only thing is if i am efficient in java and python there ends the matter so here algorithm is the same implementation will be there in java there algorithm is also same implementation will be there in python except that nothing okay yeah no problem you can take your own decision nothing is there okay <coughs> sir again i am telling java knowledge must be required for this java knowledge must be required for this okay yeah next sir here we are going to we are not going to apply any syntax here we want to follow any syntax sir just like uh, we are going to write our english instructions we are going to write our english instructions that's all sir i will wind up this just by taking one small application sir okay i want to prepare one small algorithm 
what is that algorithm or what is a problem statement let me take first problem statement sir what is the problem statement can you please write or design a problem or implement a program implement a program sir to perform addition to perform addition of two numbers this is my task i want to implement a program to perform addition of two numbers that is my task sir how you can able to do that how you can able to do that first prepare the algorithm for this what is algorithm for this sir first step we have to read the two numbers from the user two numbers from the user i think this will become the first step for us what is the second step sir use arith use arithmetic operators use arithmetic operators to calculate to calculate result that is nothing but addition sir what will be the formula c is equal to a plus b c is equal to a plus b that's all now what we have to do sir print a result print a result to the console or sir screen or file or database anything anywhere anywhere you have to just you have to store your result that's all this is nothing but a simple algorithm what i can able to tell so if i want to perform addition of two numbers taking two numbers from the user and use proper operations whatever statement which they have given in the problem and you have to use appropriate formula to construct that and we have to print that result on the screen okay next sir what is the next step we have to go for implementation sir how to implement this so i am using java right i am using java so i am going to take integer the function the method name as addition so it will take two numbers like integer a comma integer b it is taking two numbers so internally it will calculate c is equal to a plus b then it is going to return the value of c that's all this is a small program what i have taken a small method like integer addition i have taken so in that integer addition i received two parameters like a and b and i calculated addition of these two values and i am printing the result nothing more than this sir please confirm is the problem statement and what algorithm we have followed here and how we implemented is it clear for you people sachin sir what is the difference between data type and data structure in some languages both are same <laughs> okay data type is a small entity so data structure is a big entity we can say primitive data types fundamental data types abstract data types it comes under data structures okay sir i request everyone to please confirm clear up to this don't write down anything i will share this document for you people okay don't write anything i will share this document for you people can i go for executable code now yes please confirm can i go for executable code now yes so let me take a simple java program sir a simple java program now i want to take uh, one class one class called uh, maybe let me consider demo okay so here main class is there already i implemented the program just i will copy this and i will paste here that's all now what we have to do better you can use one word called static you know very well if you use a static then what is the advantage that you are going to get so no need to create any object for that directly you can able to call okay now sir what we have to do if i want to perform addition of two numbers since it is returning the result directly you can call sir demo dot addition is the method name which you have given if you pass 1 comma 2 you are going to get result as 3 because it will take these two values from the user it will take these two values one will be copied to a sir two will be copied to b then c is equal to it will perform a plus b that is 1 plus 2 
answer your c value will become 3 that will be returned and that it is going to print so this is called as a small algorithm what we have implemented so if you maintain any data structure the program length is going to be improved increased okay sir can i do this repeatedly yes no problem you can take 2 comma 3 your result will be 5 let us execute this code if you want to execute this code we have to open command prompt so in the command prompt i am going to take java c space test dot java to compile the java code if you want to run the java code java space test we have to take sir are we getting 3 and 5 as our result or not yes sir is the expected answer is the same or not yes sir i don't know whatever you have typed and executed i told already java knowledge must be required if you want to continue this batch okay so i am not going to explain in detail about this sir clear how to implement this code i think you got clarity how to prepare our first algorithm a smallest algorithm and how to work on that yes clear right yes we are going to cover all the topics in dsa what questions you are asking clear friends up to this sir i told already right we are going to prepare some algorithms in this basic classes the first algorithm is nothing but sir addition of two numbers right i told already today we covered then sir swapping of two numbers how you can able to do that sir then so maximum of two numbers how you can able to do that in this one program may have multiple versions that part also we will discuss sir even or odd number application how you can able to develop okay how to prepare algorithm how to implement the code sir sum of uh, n natural numbers in this i may use in uh, recursion also so three programs i am going to take one is normal program second one is by using loop and by using recursion sir maximum of uh, three numbers how you can able to work on that sir then factorial factorial program we are going to discuss next and after that uh, sir prime number or not how you can able to develop this application sir next and after that sir fibonacci series okay sir next and after that sir fibonacci series how you can able to do that sir how to develop these series all these things we are going to discuss in live program sir don't worry for everything i am going to take uh, sir algorithm first and we will see how we can able to implement it okay yeah maybe in this demo sessions at least we will cover some seven or eight algorithms okay and first first we are going to talk about algorithms only okay so first what are the characteristics of algorithms so how you can able to frame the algorithms so what things are there how you can able to analyze the algorithms then we will go to notations how you can able to analyze the time and space complexities what are the notations that we have and the performance analysis like worst case best case average case those are some theory parts first we will discuss those things and then we will start arrays data structure okay then we will go with the flow at last greedy algorithms so backtracking okay all these things we will cover okay can we change the timings of this batch no no this batch is already committed at seven o'clock so seven to eight this batch will be there yeah if you are having any queries please post it on chat window yeah we can able to do the programs from this recording session will be available so apnil better to go for normal editors okay yeah we can go with ide also no problem we will see if possible we will use at least for two to three concepts i will use ide course content is there in uh, our website you can check it 
a recording will be there in youtube first 3 to 4 days recorded videos will be there rashekar is asking assignments will be there uh, maybe you can expect in some areas logic based programming 2 months duration as of now the recorded videos will be there in youtube no for recording there is no need to pay any extra amount in this 999 you will get running notes live lectures at the same time recording videos yeah for this total batch only we are going to give recordings yeah we will sunny we will explain how to calculate time and space complexities uh, for any algorithm okay so based on that you have to calculate for your algorithms for every algorithm we want to do sir here questions and all want to be there we will take a data structure and we will provide implementation it is not uh, concept based right no flow charts want to be covered here yeah after demo the students who registered for this course only for them we will share the recordings through google drive yes graph concepts we are going to implement manish uh, we are not using ide because in ide so many auto suggestions will be there like if i type string dot automatically string related methods will come right so just to avoid that i am not going to use i think you got the concept if any class is missed definitely you have to refer the videos once if the course is uh, if you have registered for the course automatically our admin team will share the recordings no 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 nagarjuna you are going to get the complete material at the end because this is the first batch right whatever i am typing i will convert it into pdf this is the syllabus tentative syllabus what we have in core java what topics we need to focus more i already told oops concepts and then collections yes yes in the google drive only i am going to share the running notes yes i am using command prompt only to run the java program normal course completion certificate will be provided knowledge based programming what is that logic based programming is there yeah tomorrow is the same zoom link yeah so i hope you have enjoyed the session see you tomorrow for the continuation there we will talk in detail about rest of the things okay right so thank you sir good night